I'm Cody Applegate, and I'm from Richland, Washington. Okay, Cody. Now, could you uh, share with us your testimony, what God has done in your life? And let's start from the beginning. Start um, what, um, how did you came about the church, and um, what, uh, what was, what's your testimony? Well, my testimony is uh, I was addicted to marijuana since sixth grade. I'm 27 years old now, so that's about 15 years of addiction. Um, Mike Dora Shuck invited me to Hungry Generation about a year ago, and uh, how, how was your life before coming to Hungry Generation, uh, before giving your life to Jesus? So I think like most uh, marijuana uh, smokers, they spend all their money on uh, weed, and I uh, spent a lot of money on alcohol as well, because with weed comes alcohol and other drugs, and I uh, just was living in a lifestyle that uh, was in the dark. And how did it make you feel? What made you seek a um, uh, solution for your life? What made you seek uh, God in your life? Uh, I just knew that I was pretty much coming to an end. I got a DUI uh, about an a uh, April 1st, so about a year ago. I wish it was just an April Fool's joke, but it wasn't. Um, so I... Uh, just dedicated my life to Jesus Christ and uh, started attending a home group with Mike. Um, so after giving your life to Jesus, uh, what some changes that you begin to notice in your life? Well, I'm sober, so that's good. Um, since since when uh, since when you begin uh, you you uh, been clean from uh, drugs and alcohol? So I've been clean from marijuana for consistently six months now, and I haven't touched any alcohol since Thanksgiving, so. Uh, come on church, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Um, and uh, something, uh, something about Cody is that he is a, is, he's a businessman. He's actually quite a very successful businessman. He has oh, about 20 employees, right? About 20 employees or so in his company. And uh, in, I want him to share also um, an, an importance of prayer and how it not just coming to church, but being consistent and coming to pray. And if, some, if those of you that come to morning prayers, you can see Cody without a fail every morning. He comes and, and he spends an hour with God and then goes to the gym and then goes to work. And so I want him to share a little bit uh, on importance of prayer and how did it change your life and what benefits you've seen from, from committing your life consistently to, to a prayer. Uh, I, I just listened to actually Vlad's podcast about uh the prioritizing your your schedule and i think that's number one the most important thing is you have to make god number one when you wake up in the morning just like we make god number one in our ties when we get our check we have to make god number one in the morning when we wake up and i yeah i've consistently been coming to morning prayer and just been praying for my sobriety and um been praying a lot for my kids to come back home. For those that know me, I've had to visit uh, my kids over in Lake Stevens for like the past four months. So driving over there sucks and it's just not very uh, good time. And uh, my lawyer even told me, she's like, Cody, I just don't really see it happening. And uh, so you, you, you've been praying for to, to get um, custody of your kids or to a visitation. Yeah. Uh, Okay, visitation at home, which you were not able to do that before. Correct. Okay. And so you, you've been praying, uh, every morning prayer, you've been praying for that. And so tell us what happened. Your lawyer said that that looks like it's not going to happen after so many times and attempts to fight it at the, in court, right? So what happened? So um, for those that know, uh, it's literally paperwork after paperwork, declaration after declaration. And I paid a lot of money for this attorney and she knows, knows what she's doing. So when she told me I don't think that it's gonna happen I just prayed harder and prayed more and um, she called me about a week and a half ago and she told me the good news that I'll be bringing my kids back home now Cody um, as we as we talked upstairs and you mentioned something I think is beneficial for all of us to hear uh, is that 
when you gave your life to Jesus you know some people they experience this dramatic change immediately 180 degrees for you it was a little bit different you gave your life to Jesus and it was a process and uh, you shared with us that, uh, that alcohol and drugs the way you came about giving it up and the way you were fighting it was actually through uh, through consistent prayer can you share it with us a little bit more yeah I just you know I talk a lot about how you can't give up on God um, He's with you through all walks of life. And as soon as you think that he's not listening to your prayers, he is. And you just have to pray more, pray harder, and be consistent. And how do, how do you, uh, is it, um, you told me that after you started committed to morning prayers, is that where you begin to see how the, the grip of dr uh, drugs, smoking uh, weed and alcohol begin to get looser and looser and looser until the point that you completely were able to to uh, stop, which you were tried before, but you weren't able to, right? Right. So I uh, would feel like a lot of guilt when I would go out on the weekend and I'd have a few drinks and I was really fighting with the devil and he would try to convince me that, oh yeah, you can go out and have a good time. And I was just telling Victoria last night about how I just was uh, in Cancun and I had a, a big battle with the devil. He was trying to convince me how it was okay to drink while I was on vacation. And uh, <laughs> that devil. Um, <laughs> but as always, God won that battle. So it's good. And I think for us, we can underline that point as Cody shared is that, you know, uh, his, his battle, he began to overcome when he began to get consistent in relationship with God. It, when you're consistent in your relationship with God, it gives you power to live a victorious life. Whatever it is, if it's fear, it's fed out, if it's anxiety, if it's an addiction, whatever it might be, every time you spend time with God, you get stronger and devil gets weaker in your life. Amen, church? You know, before you go, Cody, I want to also, to, I want you to share, um, a, an important, uh, important uh, importance of giving and tithing and so um, share us, uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay so with uh, the court that I've been going through for like the last year and with the child support I uh, have just been praying a lot on just being able to give back my 10% to God because when you have a couple kids and you make good income uh, you give a lot of money and you know uh, Vlad was telling me, he's like, you got to tithe, you got to tithe, you know, whatever you can, just, just tithe, you know, I mean, whatever you can. And uh, I, you know, started tithing my 10%, even on times it's like, you know, this is all I have, God, and, you know, take this. And, uh, you know, I'm praying to, you know, make my, my income, my, my tithe here in the near future. Now share the benefits that you've seen in your company and your personal growth and finances. So uh, like Ilya said, I do own my own company and um, I've not only tithed from my own personal wallet but also from the business just because I think it's important that not only I'm blessed but also my business. Um, so since I've started tithing from the business, our uh, company, and Mike could testify, has been receiving I mean, blessing after blessing. We uh, are number two office in the entire world right now uh, come on let's put our hands together for Jesus and uh, our specialists you know I've been praying a lot for co-workers and for people that don't know God and uh, we just had four of our employees win tablets I won a thousand dollar Best Buy gift card um, and it's just you know truly a blessing to see the work that God is doing in our lives. Okay, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Cody.